Mike. You fucked up one hell of a wet dream Get me up this late at night. <clears throat> Yo, poser. What's happening? Uh, you got some business for me. Mike, Pozo, you two take a seat, wait for a moment. If something looks wrong to you, shoot it. I can be no. Let's take a walk, eh? So, uh, Tony? Yeah. Tony. Mike says that uh, he did business with you. He says you're smart. I get by. You know, he says he uh, he knows you from the old days. You know, back in the neighborhood. Uh, funny thing is, I don't believe him. I don't think he did know you. I think you talked him into knowing you. I can't help what you believe. Let's talk in there, huh? So, fuck was that all about? I'm from the Bronx, and I never fucking heard of you. Why is that? Huh? It's a big place. You don't look Italian, that Tony. My mother was Irish, all right? Ah. You want to do business with me? Yeah. Well, you can start by giving me your gun. Is there a point to all this? Yeah, there is. I don't know you and I don't fucking trust you. Oh. Feel stupid yet? Shut the fuck up, spin it around. No! Fuck. I had such a good game of grab ass since I was in the county. Stay put. <sighs> Today it was okay. What's with Tony? Tony? Tony's a fucking cop. Shoot him. I'll be inside. Do me a favor. Make it quick. Night's been fucked up enough already. Hey, Mikey, Mike. What's up, man? Mike. Come on, man. What's up with him? 
You can be this fucking guy. What? Come on, you remember I used to, I knew your sister Michelle. She scored my friend Ricky Lamato. You remember Ricky? Ricky Lamato. We used to call him Rick Big Dick because he had that big. <laughs> <laughs> Cop's worst nightmare, huh, Tony? How you gonna handle it, huh? She don't mean shit. No, to me. no, don't kill me! Shut the ah! fuck ah! up! I am talking to this man. I'm not fucking around here, asshole. If I have to kill her just to ruin your fucking day, I'll do it. You know, I'll never let this go. I know. Hey, Tony. You a good Catholic? Solve yourself ah! this. No!
I don't want to see you, Tony. Listen, man, we all know you. Yeah, thanks, dude. Tough night, Tony. A lot of undercover work down the drain. One cop and one civilian dead, and only two low-level scales to show for it. <laughs> I don't have to tell you how world-class shitty this looks downtown. All right. No lectures, no reprimands. I'll just get to it. You're off the case. You've blown your cover. We want to put you back on homicide detail. We don't feel your judgment on this right now is too sound. So here are your options. Take two weeks off or catch whatever homicide has cooking now. That cop and that civilian. Who are dead because of something I started. Let me finish it. Look, Luca, it's not going to happen. So what's it going to be? I want to work. That's what I figured. So I want you to catch this case. Murder down in Little Tokyo happened last night. Very nasty. Masayuki Noda, number three man in the local Yakuza. Looks like they went in there and prettied up the site before it got called in. Probably removed any worthwhile evidence. Edwards is on his way back down there. Check it out. Yes, sir. Tony. I know. Must have been some kind of war. What are you doing here? Don't ask. How many guys in on the hit? One. One? One. Armed with what? Some kind of sword or something. Yo, Ginger. What are you doing here? Don't ask. What do you got? Been dead about 10 hours, give or take. 10 hours? Cause of death? You're kidding, right? Victim, Noda Masayuki, estimated time of death, 2,400 hours on October 23rd. Massive throat wound suggests exsanguination with concomitant respiratory and coronary failure. What we got on Noda? Well, before he exsanguinated all over the streets, Noda was the head of the Yamura Trading Company. Big Yakuza front. Man had a lot of juice. Looks like most of it wound up all over the streets, though. Any witnesses? Just one. A working girl who came down with a serious case of self-preservation. She said he was fast, in and out, didn't have a gun. Other than that, she didn't say much. We canvassed the neighborhood, didn't come up with shit. All right, thanks, Steve. I'll All see right. you back at the station.
here. I want to see you in my office. Hatta, so, what happens when there's a problem? I'll give you a call. 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 Thank you. Tony, this is Inspector Kim of Seoul PD. He's here to assist you on that little Tokyo homicide. Who invited him to the party? He has some insight into the case that may help you. He's been kind enough to come here all the way from Korea. He'll act as an observer, give you a few pointers. Oh, an observer. Generally means he gets to screw up the case, then go home and leave the primary with his pants down. You're looking at a fellow officer who's traveled one hell of a long way to help you out. You got a crime that needs solving, get to it. Inspector Kim, thank you. And uh, be sure to let me know if Detective Luca is anything <laughs> but supportive. Man was killed. Very bad. In Little Tokyo. You want to see file? Working with Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan is Chinese. I'm Korean. If you're going to insult me, at least get it right. In Korea, I outrank you. I'm here because you asked for help on the police internet. Well, we have a police force of our very own here. And we do this kind of stuff all the time. Couldn't you have just sent a fax? No. I'm here to stop a killer. Detective Luca. Luca. You don't look Italian. My mother's Irish. Okay? The Amora Trading Company. If the number three guy got whacked, I figure number two and number one are probably a little nervous. This is your car? Yeah. We just fucking American. Sounds good. Detective Luca to see Mr. Nakai. Just a moment, please. Keisatsu no ito ga kete masu. You may go in now. Mr. Nakai? Detective Luca, I assume. Yeah. They informed me at the front you were on your way. Who is your friend? Uh, this is Inspector Kim from the Seoul Police Department. Now, tell me, Mr. Nakai, how come all the uh, security? We live in difficult times, Detective. And it's getting tougher all the time, too, isn't it? Yes. Please, have a seat. Thank you. What can I do for you? Well, we just wanted to uh, ask you a few questions about Mr. Noda's death. A terrible thing. Yeah. Tell me, do you have any leads? Well, we were hoping that you could point us in the right direction. Is there uh, anything going on in your uh, company that uh, we should know about? Any hostile takeovers, anything like that? I know, Detective. And I assure you, we are well prepared for any such occurrence. This is really stupid. They are Yakuza. 
They want to talk. You know, Detective, you, I understand being here. But tell me, why bring him in here? Sorry. He was supposed to clean the murder site and leaves no clues. But he failed, and you found one. He knows that's why I'm here. And he lost face with Mr. Nakai and with me. You know, it was Black Lotus. Kurona is here. Admit it. Just admit it. Admit it. Otherwise, I'll beat it out of you. Hey, hey, hey! you people we just wanted to ask a few questions what the fuck was that Sato, out out thank you for your cooperation mr nakai and uh, sorry about the ceiling What was that all about? You wouldn't understand. Well, you better fucking well make me understand. Look, let's get something straight. Whatever beef you got going on here, it doesn't concern me. I got this case shoved down my throat and you along with it. I got other things I'd rather be doing. Now, you got something you want to say to me? Fine. Fuck it. If that's the way you want to play it, that's the way we'll play it. But don't you ever hang my ass over a raggedy edge like that again. Ever. わかりません。松山さん。私はあくまでもビジネスマンです。チンピラのギャング争いなど。失礼。お前もっとビジネスを勉強した方がいいんじゃないか。どうか勘弁してください。What was that uh, Black Lotus crap the Korean was talking about? I thought you said the guineas had noticed son. Black Lotus, like the ninja. It's a legend from long ago. What are you looking at? Your face. Well, you want a date or something? No. I was just thinking. I like it better that way. Uh, fuck you two.
This is a personal matter. I want you to wait here. Isn't this part of the investigation? It's part of an investigation. Wait here. It is my duty to go with you. Yo, Angelo! Hey. Tony! Hey. Hey. hey! You still driving that piece of crap? Yeah. Huh. Who's your friend? Hi, I'm... Nobody. Uh, I got him doing my laundry. Oh, listen, uh, Tony, you're in a world of shit, right? Word is out about what went down between you and Rocco, man. Now, everybody knows you're a cop, man. Everybody wants your blood. You know, the feeling's mutual. No, see, Tony, you, you, you don't you don't understand. You don't understand. You see, normally, yeah, some undercover gets inside, they shrug it off, right? It's like the high price of doing business, etc. But this, this is like so fucked up. What are you looking at, huh? Take a fucking walk! Okay. So what's so fucked up? Fucking Rocco was in trouble to begin with. Now this? He looks like shit, right? He's fucking squeezed, he's pissed, he's losing his fucking mind. You know, he was never too stable to begin with. Have you seen him? Is he around? Have I seen him here? No. Fuck no. And if he was, it would only make matters worse. I've gotta tell you, Tony, you bring in your little friend here, now that, that don't help. Forget about him. These fucking people. And crossing lines that shouldn't be crossed. I mean, the turf is small enough to begin with. Fucking your keysies. They're pushing, man. They're pushing. Pretty soon, the family is gonna start pushing back. I ain't seen nothing like this since the Cassini brothers got whacked back in 85. I'm telling you, man, something is gonna happen, Tony. Something big and so fucking bad is gonna happen. Yeah, Angela, just calm down. <sighs> Listen, Tony, uh... Why don't you do me a favor and get your little fucking cabana boy out of here before it starts in my place of business, all right? What are you looking at? Huh? You're in my booth. Get up. Come on, please. My time's over, boys. Better listen to your fucking friend, gook. Or don't the gook speak English? Yeah, I speak English, and I'm a cop. Oh, big fucking deal. You want to fucking shit? Ah! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right! What the fuck? Fuck out of here. Fuck out! You just make friends everywhere you go, don't you? They were disrespectful. In my country, no policeman would never, ever be treated like you know that. What? This isn't your country, and you're not a cop here. So if you don't like it, go home. Because I got a crime to solve, and you are nothing but in my way. You, know, you and I are going to come to an understanding. You want to fight somebody so badly? Fight, fight me. I don't want to fight you. All right, then you tell me what's going on. You tell me what happened in the Kai's office yesterday. What do you know about notice death? I told you, you would not understand. It is my duty to be here. I have no choice. You're not gonna tell me what's going on here? No. Fuck you, Art! Hey, one. You listen, Inspector King, because this is the short and the sweet. You're either gonna spill a little truth or spill a little blood. What's it gonna be? You are the only one who will bleed. You are a terrible policeman. No wonder this country is fucked.
knock it off. Before I call the cops. I am a cop! His name is Kronai, which means empty blackness. He is the deadliest assassin that ever lived. How do we find him? We must go back to the Yakuza and start there. Gentlemen, I'm glad you have returned. I was hoping for the opportunity to apologize for Mr. Sato's behavior. I apologize too, Mr. Nakai. Suruwado. You know why we're here? Uh, yes. Detective Luca, our holdings at the Umura Trading Company are vast, but we are undercapitalized. We foolishly sought out certain partners whose cash resources were greater than our own. We had little idea then what we were getting involved with. Now our partners have all but taken control. And, and their aspirations here in America are great. Their ambition has brought them at odds with another company. A company I believe you are familiar with. And now this rivalry grows bitter. And what was once competition may turn to war. There's simply not enough space nor money to go around. Now I believe there is a third party involved. A very dangerous competitor, more ruthless, more power hungry than the other two combined. We can stop all this. We can put an end to it, but we need your help. There's nothing I can do. And detective, so foul a sky clears not without a storm. When's it gonna happen? Tonight. Nakai, the Yakuza's number two man, will die. You sure your people know what you're doing? I believe we can handle it. Maybe. But I'm not willing to bet my life on it, so don't fuck up. Too many people will be watching. Let them. I work just as well with an audience. So, Sato-san, you figure it was the eye ties that hit notice on? Yeah. No one else would have the balls. Apparently not. I have been waiting for you.
Tony. Inspector Kim, what have you got? Hey, Captain. Five dead. All Yakuza. This one's named Nakai. We're questioning this afternoon. It's a fucking mess, all right. What do you think happened? I don't know. Word on the street is that the Yakuza and the mob have got a squad. These murders were committed by the man who killed Noda. This has nothing to do with your mafia. Something I need to know here, Tony? Nothing yet, Captain. Inspector Kim's got a hunch who's behind these killings, but so far we got nothing usable. We're working every angle, though. Good. Now you listen. These pukes want to off each other. I don't much care. Means less work for us. But it's one thing when it happens in some back alley and something else entirely when it's in front of a bunch of diners. I know. This blows up into a war between the mob and the Yakuza. The shit is truly going to fly. Well, I took a lot of heat putting you back in rotation after that girl got killed. You let me down on this, and we both fry. You better be working on more than just some fucking angle. We cannot have a war between the mob and the Yakuza. I know. Clear? Crystal. My favorite cousin actually comes to see me. Huh? I'm like so busy. Are you busy doing cheese? Oh, hey! Focus on arm face. Focus on arm face. Say it to them. Cheese. Huh? So to what do I owe the arm face? Huh? Oh, Paul, you know, I hate to bother you. Yeah. But the other day, a couple of guys come into my place. One of them a slope. And they tried to shake me down. Now, hey, you know me. You know, normally it's like, get out of the fucking store, right? But I don't know, but these guys. Why didn't you bring this to me sooner, huh? I was scared. They said they was gonna burn my store down if I told you. Those fucking Yakuza's. How long are we gonna let this shit go on, huh? How fucking long? Because I'm telling you, I'm getting sick and tired of Gavid. So far, they ain't pushed too hard there, Paulie. It's just turf shit. But Angelo's place, it's going a little too far. Maybe it's time we send a little message. Yeah, we might. Let's just see where this thing goes, huh? The biggest amazon car in my Chinese area. Oh, the real cuba, huh? Do that post. Come on, the fucking cougars. My Chinese area, amazon. You all right? I must find the Kurumai. Inspector Kim, I think I know something that will make you feel better. Come on. I have to apologize to you, detective. I know I have been difficult. Yeah, you have been a royal pain in the ass. But since we're off duty, why don't you call me Tony? Thank you, Tony. When I said we are hunting a man, Kronai, I spoke from experience. I know this man. Years ago, I investigated a crime syndicate called the Black Lotus Society. Most say they do not exist, but they are real and very dangerous. They work in the shadows, keep everything totally secret. I knew that someone was taking over some of the great triads in the Yakuza. I dug deeper and got closer to the truth. And then, someone noticed.
So then what happened? I was to be an example, a warning. Kurunai is an assassin for the Black Lotus Society. I was obsessed with the Black Lotus and worked late one night. It was my wife. And my son crying. Then nothing. I got home as fast as I could. I was too late. I drank too much, my career suffered, and Kurunai achieved his goal. I stopped investigating the Black Lotus. But I never forgot. I will never stop hunting the man that killed my family. That is why I'm here, to kill him. And I will not rest until I feel his blood flying through my hands. Obsession. I have some experience with that. Inspector Kim, do you, uh, karaoke? You know what? In Korea, they call me Elvis. <laughs> You're not here? Thank you very much, Detective Luca, for this such a great night. I told you to call me Tony. OK, OK. And you call me Tony, too. <laughs> Tony. Tony, too. too. Oh, two, two, two Tonys. Hey, hey, taxi! Stop here! Taxi! Oh, oh that's just great! Scum back! That's good pronunciation. Happened too fast. I tell you what, Inspector Cam, I think it's time we change the rules. I'm getting tired of being a target. Let somebody else wear a bullseye on their chest for a while. I agree, Detective Luca. Tank detective, a little closer to home. That way you don't have to waste the taxpayers' money getting back to your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, sir. Great. Damn. 
fine. Just Get out of the car! Get out! Right now! Just tow. Angelo, you know what? I'm not driving it anymore. I don't know what you thought. Fuck <laughs> Angelo. Now, I know you're playing both sides of the street. I want to know what you <sighs> Suck my dick. You've got about two seconds to talk, so you better start now. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Oh. It was fucking Rocco. Him and some other guy, some slope. They came in the night before you did, and they made me fucking tell them. They tried to off me. I don't care why you set me up. Oh. <laughs> what did the Asian look like? I, I don't know, man. It was dark, you know? And I... I no, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see him. Tony, I, I swear. Oh, Look at me. Oh. Look at me. Look at me. I'm looking! Where's Rocco? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, fuck! Where's Rocco? I don't know! Look, the family's looking for him, too. Okay, Tony. Tony, I'm scared. I don't fucking know, Tony. With me. I won't offer it. If anybody asks, I'll rat you out for every shitty thing you ever did. Every turn you ever made, every name you ever gave up. Every mobster in town's gonna know that you're my informant. The river is cold and deep, Angelo. You think about that. You think about that and you pray that nobody asks. Who is this Rocco? He's my problem. He's not your concern. As long as I'm with you, he's my problem too. I want to know. Mafia. He was muscle for the Fiorino family. But he was wheeling and dealing on the side. Drugs, prostitution, extortion, you name it, he was into it. I was working undercover, trying to get next to him. But when I finally made contact, everything went sideways. A cop and an innocent bystander were killed. Your informant said that Rocco visited him with an Asian man. Do you think it might have been Yakuza? Uh, Angelo's a lying piece of shit, but I think he was right about the family and the Yakuza. If Rocco was in trouble with the Mafia, he wouldn't turn to the Yakuza. There's too much hate there. If not the Yakuza, then what about their enemy? The Black Lotus Society always takes over syndicates by killing their leaders. I don't know, King. I really don't know. God, I'm tired of thinking about this shit. I can use some relaxation. You game? Sure.
Now you feel like a million bucks. Hey, Tony, what's with Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee is Chinese. I'm Korean. Tell me, Kim, why'd you become a cop? My father. He was the youngest chief inspector ever in the Seoul police. There was no question that I would follow him. What about you, Detective Luca? Join because of my father, too. Oh, he was a policeman? Mafia. He was a made man. He was a butt man for the Fiorino family. He spilled a lot of blood. Where is he now? He's dead. My mother, too. They're gunned down. They were both dead before they hit the ground. I never really knew my father. I guess I figured I'd get him back by being a cop. Go after the mafia. Try to make up for some of the things that he did. You know, Tony, you are not responsible for what your father did. No more than you are for what the Kuo and I did. We have fulfilled our side of the bargain. Now it is time for you to fulfill yours. Don't worry about it. Your attempt to blow up Mr. Luca failed. Save your concern for something that counts. Like the number two guy in the family, Spano. He's Fiorino's right-hand man. Believe me, Mr. Rocco. We are monitoring that situation with great interest. That situation is about to get popped. I appreciate you coming here with me. I'm just going to be a second. Okay. <sighs> I like this place. I think I will take a second of my own.
a gambling man? Yeah. What do you say we uh, hedge our bets a little bit before we go? I'll throw something out to Buddha and uh, you see what you can do with God. Okay. Clap twice to make sure your God is listening. Mr. God, we would appreciate it if you don't kill us in the next few days. And please buy Tony a new car. Thank you. My turn? Yeah. Yo, Buddha, please let the bad guys catch the grief this time around and help us kick some serious ass. Amen. Kissing my ass is not gonna stop me from kicking yours. Anyway, what do I always say? Always leave one standing, I know. Yeah. That one pin's gonna tell everybody what a badass I am. It'd scare him shitless. up. God damn it. And me, it'd be somebody else. What's the difference? It's just business. Hurts on Bob. Always leave one standing. Not tonight.
Son of a bitch, huh? Fucking Bobby's dead, huh? Son of a fucking bitch! Who fucking did it? We don't know who did this, Mr. Free Reno, but whoever did it took everybody out in the whole place. Not one... The we... fucking Yakuza's did it! That's who fucking did it! You get everybody now! We're going to fucking war. Yeah, that's uh, Bobby Spano. Was Bobby Spano. He's a cop on the Furino family. What a bloodbath. I feel like Rocco is responsible for this. Rocco? Isn't he a part of the family? Yeah, but you heard what Angelo said. He was in trouble with the family. So, I don't know, maybe he wanted to hit them before they hit him. Or... Perhaps he is doing what the Black Lotus Society is doing with the Yakuza. Cut the head off a snake and the body dies. Yeah. Maybe they are working together. The Kari Nye hits the Yakuza. And Rocco roughs up the mob. These organizations, they hate each other, so they blame each other. Now we've got a war. Then, when both sides have weakened each other, the Black Lotus steps in, taking control of the Yakuza. Right, and Rocco takes over the mob. I mean, they're already working together, so between the two of them, they sew up all the city's operations. You know what we need to do now? We gotta protect a couple of skin bags. No, that's scumbags. Scum bags. Thanks for teaching. You are a scumbag. Angelo, kara kito koto da. Motta tori. Fiori gumi ga noda to nakai o koroshita. Angelo was well paid for this information. As we thought, Fiori ni family. Responsible for Nakai and Noda's death. They want war? We gladly give it to them. Go! Everybody chill! Buddy and I are gonna borrow your domo for the next couple hours. We're gonna bring him back safe and sound. Until then, I don't want you to do anything. No fighting, no killing, nothing. Do you understand? Tell him. Fucking yin and yang! Shut up! What the fuck? Shut, Shut up! up. Now, I know you don't like me any more than I like you. But I got some information I think you might want to hear. This war both of you have got going on, it's a crock of shit. You both have been played for patsies, and you're too stupid and too filled with hate to realize it. Rocco is responsible for what happened at that bowling alley. And if I find him, I'll prove it. And Noda and Nakai were both killed by an assassin known as the Kuronai. An outside syndicate from Asia called the Black Lotus Society is responsible for all this. They recruited Rocco and set you both at each other's throats. This war is something that they want. Not something that you want. Now Rocco and Akura and I have one thing left to accomplish. That's killing both of you. Against my better judgment, I'm not gonna let that happen. Yeah? And what the fuck are you gonna do, huh? I'm gonna take you to someplace safe. Big Finn, Red.
dead meat, unfiltered cigarettes, endless, mindless, loveless love. You like the Falcon, you cannot hear the Now what? Things fall apart. Detective Luca, I felt you had a plan. Not exactly. They're not wrestling against flesh and blood. They're wrestling against power, principality, and the rulers of the present darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You better put on the whole armor of God. Hey, you can kill me, but you don't have a right to judge me. Four mighty ones there are in every I think I know where they are. How's that? Something you said last night. You said, who's gonna mess with the church? That's true. We've been looking in the wrong places. We've been looking for criminals where the other criminals are. It's time to go to the last place where we'd expect them to be. Amen, Travis Bickle finds God. Third time's a charm because you're about ready to strike out. This is the last temple in Little Tokyo. Sorry to disturb you. My name is Detective Luca. We were wondering if we might have a word with you. Detective Luca? His mother was Irish. How may I help you, gentlemen? We want to know if you have any guests, anyone visiting here that arrived only recently? Yes, we have one from Kyoto. He arrived a few nights ago along with a scholar from Italy. Do you think we might see them? We just want to ask a few questions. Is there a problem? There could be. There are four guest rooms. Two of them are taken. Perhaps you and the others should find some place safe. Dr. Kim, here to finally join your family. Oh! 
here for only one reason. I have come to return this to you. Your death is the only thing that can bring me peace. I will show you that your death will bring you peace as well.
I think you need a new car. Nice touch, my friend. You look like shit. I feel like shit. Thank you, Bruder. Thank you, Mr. God. What does that mean? It means goodbye, son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you too. It's the kind of thing you can only say to a close friend. You helped me to put my soul at rest. You did the same for me. Thank you too, Detective Luca. Next time, I'm coming to Korea. Absolutely. fucking <laughs> Yes, I'm sure. 